horrible today, when the sleeping giant Yellowstone volcano awoke. Past volcanic eruptions that occurred in Yellowstone National Park have been a global disaster. Today, scientists are trying to predict how this time bomb will explode, or fail. A giant volcano lies beneath the western United States. For the past 70,000 years, the region has been largely peaceful. If this changes, it could have bad consequences. This supervolcano is located under Yellowstone National Park, which is a giant park that stretches through Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. The volcano itself is in northwest Wyoming. About 6 to 10 kilometers, 4 to 6 miles, underground there is a large chamber filled with magma, or molten rock. Volcanologists, or scientists who study volcanoes, have been observing the supervolcano since 1923. Recently, the volcano has become more active than usual. Some scientists wonder if that means the volcano is about to erupt. A volcanic eruption of that size could cause serious damage. Other experts say there's no need to worry. Dr. Jacob Lowenstern is the principal scientist in charge of monitoring the Yellowstone volcano. He said the volcano is currently inactive, meaning it shows a low level of activity. There's nothing to show for it at this point, Lowenstern said. Underground activity is common in the area. Yellowstone averages between 1,000 and 3,000 earthquakes per year. Most of them are so small that they cannot be felt. Because earthquakes and volcanoes are closely related, these shaking can indicate that something is happening inside the supervolcano. Even with the recent increase in volcanic activity, scientists do not believe it will erupt anytime soon. However, the mountain was not always calm. Geological evidence shows that Yellowstone has experienced three major eruptions in the last 2.1 million years. These eruptions occurred at intervals of around 600,000 to 800,000 years. The Yellowstone supervolcano collapsed in on itself after each of these major eruptions, sucking trees, boulders, and even mountains into the resulting crater. This hole is called a caldera. The Yellowstone caldera is currently 30 miles wide and 45 miles long. Each of these eruptions spewed large amounts of volcanic ash, gas, and magma into the air. The debris covered much of the continental U.S. Some have even been found as far away as Louisiana. Yellowstone's last major eruption occurred about 640,000 years ago. The eruption threw so much debris into the air that it blocked sunlight on much of the continent. Flows of lava, rock, and ash called pyroclastic flows swept through the region. Magma gushes out of the ground and scorches the landscape. Scientists say the eruption was 1,000 times more powerful than the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption, which killed 56 people and thousands of animals. The eruption also scorched hundreds of miles of land in Washington and Oregon. 